just miracles and I mean causing the main to be whole. That's still the one that just boggles my mind. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. But uh, just a real neat answer to prayer. Um, the video that I did about the attacks, current attacks on the ministry. Um, there were two cases, open cases left, of the guy. I, I, you know, showed his information. Things just, 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 you know, showed his information. Things just to, to show people how these infiltrators work and everything else. And uh, so, uh, people that try to infiltrate, we're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name address the whole deal we're going to be able to have access to their full name address the whole deal uh, unlike dealing with liberals that don't protect while uh, leaving christians like you know myself and you if you're a friend of the ministry all right just going to do a video showing some of the blatant hypocrisy of brian dillinger regarding the proper age for ministry and these clips i'm going to show in this first one brian dillinger clearly says that preachers ought to be in their 30s or older before they start getting into full-time ministry or preaching. And this, I do agree with him on that, by the way, too. I'll be showing the scriptures after I play the clips. But uh, he says that, but then he flat out contradicts himself in an earlier video. Okay, check this out. Preachers should be older men. If Jesus waited till he was 30, why should a normal man preach when he's in his 20s? Or especially when he's in his teens? And I've seen these young guys, they get all full of themselves and everything else. So like I said, amen to that. I, do, I agree with him that a preacher should at least be in their 30s or in my standard, I'd say like 30s or late 20s at best. I mean, you know, I'm in my early 20s and I've been consistent when I say that, you know, young people ought to not be getting into full-time ministry. And I apply this to myself too, by the way. I'm not in full-time ministry. I make videos as a hobby. Uh, and to serve God, but I don't do this as, I don't call this ministry, okay? It's more of a hobby for me. I work, I have a job, okay? So I apply this to myself as well. I've never once claimed to be a preacher or a full-time minister. You'll, you'll never hear me claim that title, okay? So I agree with Brian Dillinger on that. But then watch as he contradicts himself as he promotes JT's so-called news ministry. And keep in mind, JT is about the same age as me, early 20s. So preachers should be in their 30s, but then Brian Dillinger has no problem recommending somebody who is nearly a decade younger. Check out this hypocrisy. Watch this. I'd like to recommend a website to you out there if you are a King James Bible believing Christian. It's this one right here, the Wine Press, Real Christian News. Um, it's a really good website if you want to know some of the latest news and whatever else. Um, a lot of great articles that are on here, very interesting things. Yeah. I mean, like I said, total hypocrisy, just like the Pharisees in Luke chapter 12, verse 1. You know, beware ye the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Yeah, that's Brian Dillinger right there. He's, he's got all kinds of hypocritical stance. He's contradicting himself constantly. Uh, but when it comes to the proper age for ministry, like I say, I agree with him on that, okay? Here's the scriptures on the matter. Uh, first of all, the ministry of the Levites started when they were in their 30s. You can see Numbers chapter 4, verse 3, and 1 Chronicles 23, verse 3. Joseph's, Joseph's ministry started when he was in his 30s. Genesis chapter 41, verse 46. David started to reign when he was in his 30s, 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 4. Jehoshaphat started to reign when he was in his 30s. You can see that in 1 Kings chapter 22, verse 42, and 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 31. Uh, Jeroham started to reign when he was in his 30s. You can see that in 2 Kings chapter 18, sorry, chapter, 2 Kings chapter, chapter 8, sorry, verse 16 to 17, and 2 Chronicles chapter 21, verse 5. And also Jesus Christ himself started his earthly ministry when he was in his 30s. You can see that in Luke chapter 3, verse 23. So I agree that you should be at least in your 30s before you try to get into full-time ministry or preaching. So Brian Dillinger's right, but then he contradicts himself by recommending a so-called newest ministry. No scripture in that for that when you're constantly focusing on the world like that. And also, not just that, but also recommending somebody who's nearly a decade younger than what he says should be the, the proper age. See how he's constantly violating his own standards? He's a hypocrite, just full of hypocrisy. So just another example of that. So don't be deceived. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.